to take care of our fellow man and woman. And uh, in this instance, that's just kind of what I'm doing. Tonight, giving back a veteran and a woman in need of a kidney. That's right. They are on a journey. It started as two total strangers, but now they're friends and they're following one act of kindness that's saving numerous lives. First Coast News reporter Nick Perot shares their story and why they say this journey has changed their lives. Sometimes we need to find our own happy place. Sometimes I'll just come and sit on a bench and just stare out at the water. It's a nice, calming thing to do. To avoid the obstacles that might come crashing toward us. The emergency room doctor came in and he said, well, you know you have polycystic kidney disease. And I was like, what? I've never heard of that. Turns out Allison Eklund went on living 40 years carrying a family secret. She just didn't know it. And they said Aunt Anna died from it, Uncle Sidney died from it, and I'm like, wow, didn't, why didn't somebody tell us? A genetic disease that over time allows cysts to develop in her kidneys. After seven years of dialysis, every day, she said enough treatment, time for a transplant. I was at Leroy's Cafe downtown, and I found a card on a wall next to a door, and essentially it said a kidney for Allison. I'm not really sure what I felt in that moment, um, but I knew I needed to, to know something about this. I really felt a tug on my heart. Nicholas Flores served his country for nine years as a Marine. <laughs> you silly man. Now retired and a father of four, he feels his need to serve is not over, but simply different. We're supposed to take care of our fellow man and woman. And uh, in this instance, that's just kind of what I'm doing. I'm taking the OR. I can think about my grandchildren marrying and, and graduating and all the other things that I had just had to let go of because it wasn't, it didn't seem like it was going to happen for me. They've already made plans after surgery. We're going to go uh, to California and have an In-N-Out burger. Yes, sir. Oh, he's wearing the In-N-Out shirt right there, that man. Look at that. That's right on cue, look at that. And I feel like this is my purpose in this season of my life, so when the question is asked if I'm worried, I'm not worried. But in life, even the best of plans can change. So he didn't match, I had a, a antibodies too high for him. Flores could have walked away, leaving Eklund without a kidney. He said, no, I want you to use my kidney to find her one. I'm ready for it, you ready for me? Instead, he joined in on a Mayo Paired Donation Program bringing in other donors and people in need of kidneys from Phoenix, Rochester, and Jacksonville. So now I get the chance to donate to another stranger so that somebody else can donate to my, my current stranger. <laughs> you know, so instead of just two families, you know, being involved, now there's a bunch. What started with one donation from one veteran has influenced five others to donate, a chain that would have ended had Nick backed away. I just broke down crying when he told me that because what a guy, I mean, what kind of person is this that does that? She constantly talks to me about how uh, I'm changing her life because of this donation and what she and other people don't realize is this is changing my life in the best of ways because I'm truly able to be used to help others instead of selfishly kind of keeping that opportunity to myself. And I can't ever thank him or God enough for that. Whoa, wow. wow. That's something. So you know the question you're all asking? How are they doing? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Nick had other surgeries, doing fine. And Allison actually was back in today just for some routine blood work, but they're both both done. Donated the kidney. Allison's got her kidney coming in. Again, this is coming from Minnesota as well as from Phoenix. Isn't that, that is something? Awesome. I mean, that is like true service over and over again. And now other people too. Correct, correct. And again, we're going to keep you updated on the story as well of where those kidneys exactly came from. All right. Thank you, Nick. We're looking forward to it. Oh.